If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. Today we're doing some more premium. And uh, if there's one thing that I like in a card game, if it's not knights, it's dinosaurs. So I picked up myself a, a nice little premium Tachikaze deck and I've been playing around with it and it's kind of fun. So I wanted to show you guys my build and I know there's just tons of different ways you can build this deck. So I'm really excited to kind of just get into like what I did to put my deck together. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the deck profile. Our starter is Minimum Carno because he's just the best little fire breathing Carnotaur. Love him. Uh, it is when wrote upon you draw a card and if your opponent's Vanguard's at grade one, you draw a card, so, or get a quick shield. <laughs> That'd be really cool though, you draw two cards instead of a quick shield. Wishy, please. Anyways, uh, starting off with grade threes like we always do, uh, I know I uh, sneak peeked the Spinal Driver Reverse, but I'm sorry, I'm only running the one copy. <laughs> so, Spinal Reverse, what it does is when it's placed on ban, you draw a card, then call a card, then you may put a gauge on the card you call. If you have Spinal Driver in the soul, the original one, you can do it three times instead of the one time. The second skill works if you have front triggers, which we don't, so I'm just not really gonna get into it, but the whole point is that this works when you ride it. Uh, if you don't have Spinal Driver in hand, this works as a good alternate ride as well, but the idea is that you do this late game, call three things, give them all gauges if they need it, and then you can stride afterwards, because this all works on place. So I'm, but I'm only running the one copy because uh, it's not really that great when you write it first and you just need space in the deck. So speaking of the rest of our grade threes, we're running our four copies of Spinal Driver. So what Spinal Driver does is when it attacks or when a, another unit's placed on top of this unit on the Vanguard Circle, you kind of blast one, retire two rear guards, and then you draw a card, gain an Excel marker, and then you choose a card from your hand, call it, and two units get 5k. Um, because you're gaining an Excel marker, if you have Excel 2, you do the draw before you call something. So it's kind of like you draw on two cards if you're running Excel 2, which is nice. So it works when it attacks and it works when you write on top of it. So you can combo these two together. You can do the skill, call a field, use this to retire the things you called from this to get more markers and such, all happening during your ride phase before you stride. So I really like being able to use these two together. So then going into the rest of our grade threes, this is pretty standard for most premium Tachi decks. We got our, our 3D Mercenaries, our Mercs. So uh, Savage Mercenary is, uh, you cannot ride this card because you know it's got 27k base power. Um, and then if you do not have another unit with an equip gauge in the same column as this unit, it cannot attack. Uh, so you basically just throw a gauge on it and it can swing. Um, there's a lot of restanding rear guards in this deck, so the reason we're running Mercs is because it's a really big boy and he just swing, restands, swing. So that's why we're running three marks. That's it for the grade three lineup. Uh, eight grade threes because we want to ride, we want marks, and everything is stride fodder. So now we're moving on to the grade twos, starting off with Mega Rex. So we're running four copies of Mega Rex, van or rear, when it attacks, you choose a rear guard, retire it, draw a card. Uh, if this is on the rear guard circle, you can counterblast to give it a gauge, and then it gets 5k for every gauge it has. So the main reason we're running this at four is because it procs off a lot of your retire abilities. So if you want to retire other rear guards, um, just to do more combos, Mega Rex is like the easiest way to do it because it's it's a free retire. So you swing, retire, draw a card. Uh, it's the ideal ride target as well. So that's why we're running four Mega Rex. Three Regidons. Regidon's a great card. What Regidon does is when it attacks, you look at, you put the top card of your deck into one of your other rear guards as an equip gauge, and then the second skill is when this is retired uh, by a card effect during your turn, um, or is it just during by one of your card's abilities? If this is retired by one of your card, card's abilities, you can call the card that's on this, this unit's gauge, and then put another gauge on that unit from the top of your deck if you want. So it just lets you do some pretty fun combos when you retire it for effect. So this is like your uh, your retired target, so to speak. Then I'm running two copies of Dead Off of Fire. Pretty much, pretty sure that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but what it does is when it's placed from hand, you kind of blast one, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, call it, put the top, then you may put the top card of your deck into it as a gauge. So it helps you build a board, helps you make cards with gauge. Second skill is when this unit um, is placed from an equip gauge, it gets 10K. So if it's placed from, from Regidon, so if this is in the gauge and Region calls it out and gets another 10k. So that's really nice. 
but we're only running two just because the deck is kind of Catablast heavy. Plus, we need some space for Sweepin Kantaro, I think is how it's pronounced. Sweet Sweeper uh, Kentaro, yes. <laughs> uh, we're bringing this back. This was a big Anger Blader card, but now we're bringing it back. So what it does is once per turn, Rear Guard Circle, when it attacks, it, you can throw a gauge on it from the top of your deck. Second skill is, this unit gets 5k for every gauge attached to it. And if you have three or more gauges, it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card abilities. Or it cannot, yeah. So, and that's continuous, meaning that during your opponent's turn, if you have three gauges, this is a 24k rear guard that's just sitting there. Um, we're running it because same reason as Savage Mercenary, swing, restand, swing, big number. So, yeah, that's the grade two lineup. Moving on to our grade ones, starting off with another MVP of the deck, which is Savage Shooter. Savage Shooter is like the best grade one to ride in this deck. It's actually probably the best grade one in this deck to begin with. Uh, it's when placed on ban, Soul Blast 1, draw a card, call a card from your hand to rear, and put the top card of your deck face down as a gauge for that. So you can call anything. It's, you know, you can call a grade two, a grade three. Um, the minute you start the game, you can call Savage Mercenary immediately if you want. Just start swinging with that. Second skill is Rear Guard Circle. You can rest this unit and choose a card from your drop zone and put it into a rear guard that doesn't have a equip an equip gauge. So this helps you not deck out because it's using it from drop zone and you rest it and then you can retire it afterwards. Um, it's just really, really easy gauge filter. So next up, another really, really good card. We're running three copies. A Blue Sprint. Blue Sprint is a clone of um, Regidon. They do the exact same thing. So when they attack, you put the top card of your deck into a gauge or something, and then when it retires, you the thing uh, that was gauged to this can be called, and you can put another gauge on that called target. So it just lets you do more uh, more combos. Other important thing I wanted to mention is that you can only do the skills of Regidon and Blue Sprint once per turn. So. Let me pull it out real quick. You can see on um, both of them, they both say that you can only use the effect of this card with this name once per turn. So we want to be able to maximize that. So we're doing three and three. So that way you have the same card, but you can do both in the same turn if you need to. So Blue Sprint's a really good card in that regard. And then moving on to the next grade one, we're running three copies of Prism Bird. Prism Bird is our grade three searcher. First skill is if you put in a quick gauge this turn, it gets 5k. Second is when placed from hand, look at top five, look for a grade three, add it to hand if you added discard one, like all the other ones. So we're running three of that so we can search for our spinal drivers or our mercenaries. And then lastly, two copies, uh, Raven Terra. Raven Terra is a card from the, the G era. It's got a, it's got a GB skill. The Vanna Rear, it's got Engorge, you know, you're not really going to use that. GB1, Soul Blast 1, for cost. When this is retired from the rear by the effect of your Vanguard with the Engorge ability, so our G unit, you may pay the cost. If you do call us to rear, and if the number of face-up cards in your damage zone is 1 or less, counter charge. So it's our counter charge engine. So only running two of that just because, you know, it works in a specific scenario when you only have uh, one face-up damage, and it's a good, uh, good retire target. Speaking of retire targets, we're running grade zeros in the main deck. We're running two copies of Little Tyranno. Little Tyranno is GB1, Kenner Blast 1. You put this in the soul when this is retired by the cost of your Vanguard with the Engorge ability. You look at four cards, call two, and the rest go to the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is really nice because you can just throw it down, kill it off when you're swinging with your Vanguard, and then this lets you rebuild the board, which is really nice. This works really well with the new G unit, Kigeno Pharaoh, whatever his name is pronounced, just because um, you can use this skill before falling through with the uh, the skill of Gigano Pharaoh, Giganto Pharaoh, um, just so you can target more things on the board when you, after you finish resolving this. So we're running two of that because it also fills soul, which is really nice, and it's just board building. All right, we're on to triggers. Starting off, over trigger, fair and balanced card, uh, Drag Vega. Additional effect is you restand your Vanguard, so that's another triple drive when you're on the G unit. Really funny with Number Oaks, if you swing, restand with Number Oaks, swing again, get the over trigger, swing again, that's nine drive checks in a turn. Um, that's not broken at all. 
Three of our Heal Guardians, it's a grade three, so it's searchable Prism Bird, and it's also really good when you're on grade two, so you can either give your Vanguard 10k or give your opponent's attacking unit negative two crit, as long as you didn't ride to grade three yet. And um, when you call it from hand, if you have no damage, you can just put the top card of your deck in your damage. But it's searchable, it's a grade three, so it's strike fodder, and it's uh, G Guardian fodder. So searchable G Guardian fodder fodder is nice. <laughs> um, next up, two Prism Bird. It's our draw PG, pretty, pretty standard. Um, the reason we're doing just the two draw PGs is because we're doing two uh, Paris Launcher. So we're doing our four Sentinels, two of them are crits, just because you use so much of your deck just putting top card of your deck in as gauge that you tend to, I've decked out just from running three draws, so I toned it down to two. Just to give you an idea so uh and also restanding rear guards restanding vanguards extra crits on that just makes that even more threatening so that is our sentinel lineup now we're just going to the rest of our triggers i'm running four copies of the stride fodder crit so this is the one where uh if you're paying the cost for stride it gets great plus three so you can you can stride with it and then Three copies of the uh, the shove to soul crit. So when your Vanguard attacks, you move this soul draw card. Your Vanguard gets 10k until the end of that battle. So that's a key thing: is the end of that battle. So even if you restand, it loses that 10k afterwards. Um, but it's another crit with skill. Uh, thinking about running uh, Dino Dial instead of this, uh, just because Dino Dial helps you counter charge. But yeah, besides that, you pretty much are going to be running nine crits. So a lot of a lot of heavy. Uh, aggression going on with this dinosaur deck. All right, now we're on to the fun stuff. G units, three Nebros. So Nebros is skill, and this is also errated, so don't pay attention to what it actually says on here. Uh, engorge, and then afterwards is when it's engorge, you choose two of your opponent's rear guards, retire them, turn your G unit in your G zone face up, and then you can stand this unit. Um, part of the skill is you have to choose five of your rear guards or of your rear guards equip gauges. This one just says equip gauges, but the errata is you can choose rear guards as well. So it's swing, retire five, restand. It restands mid swing, so you can swing afterwards again. So Nebros is just a really good uh, first drive, just because six drive checks is nice. Oh, its second skill is when it's face up in the G zone, you can soul blast one, and you can put a card from the top of your deck into a gauge. So helps you fill gauge from the G zone, which is nice. Then we're running. Uh, Two copies of Anger Blader, I mean, uh, or uh, Kian Gyankoraptor, Gyankoraptor. So what Gyankoraptor does is, it's exactly like Anger Blader. It's when it attacks, you kind of blast one, turn a G unit face up, stand all your rear guards with three or more equip gauges, and you choose the same number of your opponent's rear guards that were stood and rear tire them. So it's, it's the fact that it restands just like Anger Blader which is nice. So mercenaries and your sweeper, sweeper Kantaros will be big boys for restand targets. So I like running two of it just so if I want to do it twice, I can. The first skill is when your rear guard is placed from hand, you can put three cards from your drop into that unit. So you can just immediately give your savage mercenary those three gauges to restand it. So Raptor is good. Next up, old card. Guy Dynast. Dynast is just kind of like our, uh, our resource card. GB3, when your rear guards are retired, by this unit's by this unit when you engorge, you counterblast one, call it back, and it gets 3k. So it just helps you if you have a bunch of counterblasts, you can just rebuild a board after you engorge. Second skill is when uh, when it attacks, you flip a Guy Dynast from your G zone face up, so that's why we're running two. Uh, choose one of your rear guards and you retire all the units in the same column. So that includes your opponent's side and then you counter charge one. It's to help you get rid of your opponent's pesky columns and that's pretty much it. It's just a resource card. For the most part, it's also flip fodder if you feel like you're not really gonna use it. So that's it for Dynast and my favorite card that exists in the Tachikaze G, no G zone, uh, Gluttony Dogma. So Gluttony Dogma's skill, uh, it's similar to Neveros since they both have Gluttony in the name. It's GB2, choose a Gluttony Dogma from your G zone, turn it face up when it attacks and becomes a Gorge. You, uh, based on the number of units they retired for the engorge ability, if you retired three, it gets 10k. If you retired five, at the end of it, it gets the auto ability red text once per turn. At the end of all this attack, you restand it, it gets drive minus two. So 
The idea behind this as well is that if you swing, retire five, get the over trigger, you restand, keep the auto ability, swing again for triple drive. The auto ability is still active, restand, swing with uh, twin drive. So it's uh, it's another like alt Neveros turn, but also flip fodder. But I think it's just really cool that you can do the same thing with this as a as a restander. Plus, it's just one of my favorite cards, but it's also mostly flip fodder. I love me my gluttony and god. And then new card, the one copy of Giganto Pharaoh. Giganto Pharaoh is. is Pretty much the finisher for the deck. We only need one copy just because of soul. Uh, it's, when it becomes engorged, you counter bust one, turn something G zone face up. Choose the same number of your rear guards that retired for the engorge ability. And those units get 10k as well as red text. Once per turn at the end of battle, they attack. Soul lost one, stand this. So if you swing, retire five things, you can choose up to five rear guards and give them that skill. How do you choose five rear guards? Proc this first and then choose afterwards. So that's how you're able to do it. Um, this is just a really good card, but obviously five rear guard attacks or even three, that's three soul, three to five soul. So the fact, the idea of being able to do this again is kind of slim, but if I get my dino dials, that could be different. So for now, we're just running the one. And for fun, Drachma. Uh, Drachma is our zero off dragon. Zero off dragon cost is discard. You have to have three face up in G zone and you have to discard the same name as your Vanguard for cost. Counterblast 2 on place, you retire all your opponent's units, and then your opponent chooses three cards from their hand, discards two of them, rides the third one. So if your opponent doesn't have a grade three in hand, they have to ride down to whatever they ride. Um, the one negative thing about Drachma is it's technically riding, so they do get a marker. So this is really mostly if I'm playing against a force deck, because if they're playing against Excel, they get a draw. If I'm playing against Protect, they get a PG. Not really helping me in that case, but against Force, nothing really happens, so that's nice. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's a finisher. If your opponent has like five cards in hand and you're playing against Force, I mean, ideally anything else works too, but just for fun. It's also flip fodder. All right, those are the G units, and we're gonna go into the G Guardians. The new G Guardian, how do I pronounce that name? Re Regigar. So what this does is when it's placed on guard, you choose any number of your rear guards and it gets 10K, or choose any number of your rear guards and retire them. This gets 10K for each rear guard retired. And then for those rear guards that had gauges on them, you draw for each gauge or draw for each rear guard that had a gauge. So that's also nice because you can do this with Regidon or Blue Sprint. Their effects go off as well, which is nice. So it's a good card. And I'm running two copies of uh, Bullish Primer. Primer skill is GB2. You, when placed on guard, you flip a G Guardian face up. This gets 5k for each of your open circles. So you can combo, you can do this one first. And now you have open circles, you do this one, it gets more shield. Um, this is pretty much your most easiest way to guarantee big shield with your open circles, which is nice. So this one is for sure a two of. Last but not least, a single copy of Ganga. So what Ganga does, is when it's placed on the guard circle, you retire one of your rear guards, it gets 10k shield, and then you choose up to two of your rear guards and they get the following, the red text. Um, when this unit is retired, it returns to your hand. So that you could do this, then another G Guardian to retire more things, then those things bounce back to your hand. Or if your opponent just wants to retire them or swing at them, they just go back to your hand regardless because they're being retired. So. This is just a good one of, just for certain scenarios, but the, the G Guardians are kind of underwhelming, but they, they do their job, which is nice. That was it, we made it through the deck profile. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and making it this far if you have. Um, I'm really excited to show this, uh, this deck off in some future games, and I've been having some decent fun with it. It's a little bit of a learning curve, surprisingly, but the, the main idea is just, you know, get on your Spino, stride into this thing in the end and make your, your mercenaries really big. Um, and then you go into reverse just for more pluses. So that's it for the deck. Thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.